So of course all the animals here we, we build a bond with and a connection so we're very fortunate to be working with them. We get visitors and volunteers from all over the world. I think we have a dream job so. Uh. Yeah it's been a home for the past six and a half years for me. Animals have pretty much been my family. We spend more time in a day with these animals than we do with our own families so we get connected to them, we get connected to the place in a way that very few people will ever get to experience, so there's no words that really can describe it other than family. I don't think there's anything that it doesn't mean to me, and I'll put it to you that way. It's um, the cause for my existence, actually, so that means, in that sense, everything. It's my passion, it's my work, it's my life. It feeds me, keeps me going, motivates me to get up in the morning, uh, pretty much everything. If we weren't here to look after them anymore, then, you know, it's a scary question as well. What's, where are they going to go? Who's going to look after them? So. You've got to stay positive and hope things are going to get better. Otherwise, it's not a very bright future. I, I, I've got no words. I, I don't think 
I don't know how I would live without it. It's, I've been here for more than half of my life already. And I, yeah, I don't know how I would actually, yeah, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. We've made this our commitment to look after these animals and it would be really hard to see if they had to go somewhere else. Yeah. We are in a very scary time and we will not stop. We will not give up. We will be here every day to take care of our furry family. But we can't do it without financial support. And we need your help.
What's up, everybody? How are we doing? Hope we're all having a good one. Thanks so much for being here for our weekly community showcase. Let me switch the screen on over there. We go. That is good. Now the music stopped. I have to turn it back on. There we go. <laughs> nice. So cool. Yeah. Well, again, welcome in everyone. Hope you had a great week and are having a great start to your weekend. Um, and yeah, welcome to our community showcases. I am still trying to get my screen. There it goes. We got the planet zoo. I'm ready to go officially now, but how are we doing everyone? Zoo, what's up, buddy? Jake, thumbnail master. Seth is here. Becca, uh, Kezia, hey, how are you doing? Uh, basic builder. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Silver Fox and Seabrus hanging, uh, holding the court down there. What's up, Sawdust? Good to see you, buddy. Totters hanging out. Cool. Steam Cat. Hello, buddy. We have a thing from Steam Cat slash Angry Skull today. Uh, Toves as well. I see Toves there. Noise, noise. How you doing, um, SWPR Gareth? Good to see you, buddy. Welcome on in. Herman, retired Herman. So you gotta put it, you gotta change your name there, Herman the third. You gotta be Herman the third, parentheses, who's retired, end parentheses. <laughs> so awesome, cool. So I think I got everyone there so far, but yeah, welcome on in. Hey, Peter, how we doing, buddy? Hey, Daniela. Good to see you. And Sharice is here. Cool. Nice. We have everybody hanging on out. So, yeah, uh, before we get started for today's community showcase, there's a lot to show off. I'm really excited to show a lot of these things off. Um, don't forget that today is very special because, as you notice with my pinned message and with the uh, video that uh, was put together for the intro and everything, that, yes, we are supporting uh, the Congo? Conga. I always forget the name. Um, Wildlife Preserve in, uh, down in South Africa. So if you are able to, um, you know, a bunch of streamers are kind of promoting them to get uh, fundraising going so if you are able to and um, have a few bucks um, kind of left over that you uh, would like to spare uh, to this wildlife foundation definitely uh, you know give a few bucks kind of help them out because uh, yeah they've been closed since the pandemic and I think almost all of their income essentially comes to uh, comes from uh, tourism and stuff and since the pandemic has hit they have had no income so that means they can't pay their employees they can't feed the animals um and they're gonna have to maybe give them away and they don't really know who they're gonna give them to so it's just, it's a really bad situation so um any little bit uh kind of helps there so yeah there's links in the there's pinned links at the top there and i'm sure silver fox and seabrus are going to be throwing uh links around as well for that so i'm um, gonna and seabrus said it earlier even if you can't uh donate right now that's totally understandable and that's fine but uh maybe uh, subscribe to their uh, youtube maybe follow them on twitter you know just kind of give little bits to support like you uh, support this channel and everything because every little bit uh will help out there so cool with that all go my keyboard yeah my keyboard broke son of a bee sting <laughs> i'm sitting here typing on it and it you hear that it's because one side is one corner is I, I lost one of my flappy thingies you know the little flappy duties on the on the bottom of your keyboard that comes out yeah that broke well I didn't want it anyway, so cool. Anyways, I need a new keyboard. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into uh, today's community showcase there. Let's jump into it. So <laughs> uh, when will the Zootin Tower uh, tour be out? Uh, and when will the next uh, build be started? So the Zootin Tower uh, tour will probably be in the next few weeks. Um, I want to make sure Wyatt Andrews is with us since he pretty much... Uh, spearheaded that project for most of it um and he's out of town for the next week or two so when he gets back in um we will uh go ahead and schedule that so cool all right let's not waste any more time though because we got a bunch of fun stuff to do there so the first thing we're gonna look at is sun bear lake from steam cat slash angry skull so cool there you go look at this so a sun bear is supposed to go in here but i know all you creative people may uh, might use it for something different but i like the uh, the aesthetic of this the uh, kind of modern walls and everything looks pretty cool the black and gray there's a little bit of an interior maybe yeah a little bit a little bit there you go so very nice if you need a sun bear habitat angry skull has you covered they have you covered there so <laughs> no no one likes broken flaps especially pilots so, <laughs> hey, what's up, Leaf and Sunny Spacecraft? You did. You both made it. Good job. Um, good stuff. So next up from ZZ. We got two stuff from ZZ this week. Uh, so the first one is, look at how useful this is. The natural, what do you call it? Natural wall building pack. Look at this. It is so stinking useful. So if you're wanting to build like caves or use like um, kind of natural land barriers for your animals and stuff and don't like the way the dirt looks this look at this this is great and they've even kind of uh chopped up a little bit so you can kind of create your own with different colors there but they also have it spread out into desert uh what is this snowy dirt and stone so yeah these are cool 
Yeah, they're really cool. They kind of go well with um, a lot of the other uh, faux walls that we've been getting, faux rock walls that people have been starting to release. So yeah, you can combine all those and get some really cool looking uh, barriers. Up next from ZZ, we have, well, we showed a few of these off um, a few weeks ago, but um, this is the Indian rhinoceros statue. So ZZ is going through and making statues um, that we don't have in game, I, I suppose. So here you go. Nice little uh, Indian rhino statue as well. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, these are great, aren't they? Yeah, really useful. Noi, so next up, Savannah. Is this uh, is this the second week in a row we've gotten a fence pack from Savannah? I can't remember if it was a week or two weeks ago, but Savannah, whenever she builds, uh, she is on a uh, a kick, a big old kick here for making fences, and we are all grateful that she is because it's always nice to have some new uh, fences and planters too. It looks like um, in the games. Look at these. Now these are um, technically called the African Fence Set too because she did have the original African Fence Set, but a lot of these I could just see, um, you know, just willy nilly not being um, part of the Africa set, but just any kind of set. But I love the rustic vibe to it. This rock wall here, especially with the logs kind of strung out against it, these are great. Yeah, these are awesome. Cheers, Leaf. So, and then um, this one back here, I love this gate back here, the kind of war, what piece is this? Is this from the, yeah, Wooden Arbor. This is from like the newer uh, Africa pack, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's really cool. Really, really useful stuff there. Really useful stuff. Hey, I think I forgot to mention, and I need to find the Discord message real quick that has it. Um, we're also doing giveaways today. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we're also doing giveaways today. So how it's going to work is, let's see, I have one, two, three, four uh, games and DLCs uh, to give away, and we're going to be doing it at the end of each segment. So we have our workshop segment, and then we'll go to our mod segment giveaway, and then we'll do our park segment giveaway, and at the very end of the stream, we'll do a giveaway as well. So just so you all know, I didn't write giveaway in the title for absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, cool. Oh, hey, this is really cool. Up next from Sada. Sada, you're here, right? Yeah, he's still hanging out. Um, this was really cool to see kind of come together. This is the hay ball feeder uh, that's specific, or not, yeah, kind of specific for elephants. So Sada's came into uh, the Discord kind of asking questions like, hey, does anyone have any ideas for like a elephant feeder? And um, he got some really nice uh, references from some people but uh yeah came back with this and i think that's super useful how did you stick what is this piece right there is that the ah the little uh yeah that's really clever that's really yeah saunas has some nice balls doesn't he <laughs> it's it's like a sex joke haha <laughs> um but anyways yeah this is really really clever um so definitely put those into your uh elephant habitats there really good stuff next up Next up from Seth, we got from DH Roof. Uh, we have the, oh, oh, hold on. He told me how to pronounce this in the community showcase. He told me how to pronounce this in the community showcase so I wouldn't sound like a complete moron. I'm probably gonna sound like a moron, but maybe not a complete moron. There it is. Drew, I know you're gonna mess this name up. So it's pronounced Teratophoneus. Teratophoneus, there. So this is the Tareta Phoneus <laughs> Dinorama <laughs> from uh, from Seth there. So yeah, those of you that are always getting the Dinoramas uh, set up, there you go. Here's the Teratophoneus model. <laughs> cool. There you go. There you go. Is it close enough? Nice. Okay. Well, well, I'll take a close enough out of ten. All right. I'll take close enough out of ten. Next up from Philip. Philip underscore I. We always love seeing stuff from Philip underscore I, mainly because of the titles that they always give with this. Now it's Josh, right? Josh, you're here. Yeah, there's Josh. So Josh always comes up with maybe the greatest titles for their um, for their builds, maybe. <laughs> so here's the first one we're gonna look at. These are all out of order mods, so maybe just share um, uh, Philip underscore I's uh, workshop page. So the first one we're gonna see here is the warning. A lore keep build that I forgot the building and just have an outdoor section by Philip underscore I. So when I say that, <laughs> so when I say the titles of them, those are the ones that he uh, that, that he puts in there. So yes, this one does include um, mods. That's why there was the warning in front. But yeah, look at this, got a little lore keep um, station there, a little uh, aviary. So there you go. There you go. Pretty good. The next one is the fountain which has to spray 12 separate four-year-olds all right so there's a 
elephant statue that has sprayed 12 different four-year-olds. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> the names just get me, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to take them. Uh, the next one from Philip is the, sh the Shipping Containers of Mystery, which made me real nervous. But I like this habitat, actually. It's actually a, a nicely put together uh, habitat here, but um, it makes me nervous to look inside of the crates. I don't want to know what the mystery is. <laughs> So plants didn't travel. Yeah, it's always a good idea to um, plop your blueprints down after saving them to make sure the everything's saved in there. Um, and countless five-year-olds. No, no five-year-olds. No five-year-olds. Just the four-year-olds. <laughs> so there you go. They move drugs. Okay, there you go. They move drugs. There's all the drugs spilling out. Dang it, drugs. Just generally, just general drugs. <laughs> and then the last one, which is awesome is going to be the vaguely French themed stage, which I am claiming is a castle. <laughs> so again, this is the vaguely French themed stage, which I am claiming is a castle from Philip underscore I. <laughs> and um, I think in the description, they, yeah, they mentioned that they have like cheese and baguettes and you know, it's, it's super French and there's wine <laughs> and it's a castle, okay? It's a Castle de la France. Um, so there you go. Definitely uh, definitely get some of these into your zoos there. Um, I think I think everyone needs Castle the France in, in their zoos. So I want to see this put into places. So <laughs> yeah, the grapes and wine. So it's a castle. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I'm with it. I'm hip. So there you go. We always uh, look forward to Philip uh, sending us some stuff. Again, your names are just fantastic, dude. Your, your names are great. So um, but yeah, no good stuff there from uh, from Philip. Good stuff. Next up. Hey, here we got Bird Nerd. There we go. Uh, Bird Nerd Josh has come to us with a really unique item here. This is a shark cage. So, you know, like on the Discovery Channel, during Shark Week, bro, during Shark Week, when they like have those um, dum dums, I mean, people get into sh uh, cages and then get lowered into like, you know, a swarm of sharks or whatever. Um, yeah, now you can do that to your guests. So if any guests are giving you lip or saying, hmm, the view from here is okay, I guess, you can put all of them inside the shark tank and just kind of lower them down into the water. Say, have fun. <laughs> uh, nice, so there you go. Good stuff from Bird Nerd Josh, the shark tank. Well, I think that was a mini skyscraper. You know, I'm not going to hold that against you because we've had a lot. We featured a bunch of skyscrapers, haven't we? So I'm not going to hold that against you at all. That's good. Yeah, a guest trapper. Exactly. <laughs> 10 out of 10 guest, guest trapper. Oh, this. Yo, <laughs> this is so good. All right. So from Haribo. So right away, it's from Haribo. So you know it's going to be good. This is the modular netting set from Haribo. So yeah, Haribo always comes out um, with some really cool modular stuff, but they've used the new chain link uh, fence pieces and look, it's a modular, um, it's a modular uh, netting set now for like aviaries and uh, houses and yeah, exactly, nets, yep, yep. So if um, you wanna put this over top of like your, um, like your houses that maybe have like an outdoor section or usually for houses, there's like uh, little, uh, habitats that are attached to the side of the building they'll have nets over top of them and stuff so yeah and and um and remember they're all modular right so you can just take these and kind of move them willy-nilly uh, however you want or take a few of them right you can take you know if i want this whole thing there cool i have it all you know take that and move it around and put it wherever you want so yeah no it's really really handy definitely everyone's gonna want to uh get that so cool is that the hey that's the last thing there so hey there goes all the workshop items which means we're at the end of our first segment um but yeah no there's some really good stuff there i love zz's uh, rock walls oh, there's a lot of faux rock walls coming out they're really really useful savannah's uh fence set is super useful um i know sada said this was really simple to do but it's really useful sada said really good build there uh seth coming in with the dinoramas wait did I miss something? What did I miss? Oh, it's the plushies from last week. They didn't get deleted. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really good stuff from everyone. Really good stuff. So cool. Let's go ahead and we are going to do our first giveaway. We're going to do our first giveaway. So the first giveaway we're going to do, my friendly friends. Where was it? There it is. 
Y'all can't see this, right? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's good. So the first one we're gonna do is for, so the first two codes are gonna be for console players. So I have a, Playsta a US PlayStation code and an Xbox code. I don't know if it's like the new Xbox or an Xbox 360 <laughs> or an Xbox One. It just says Xbox. So I'm gonna assume it works for whatever. Let's do that one first. So we're gonna be doing uh, for the Xbox TPH Jumbo. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of it, but it's apparently a game you can play on the Xbox. And then and there's a big old code after that. So uh, don't forget, oh my God, Peter, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peter. <laughs> I didn't set up your signs. All right, let's set those up real quick and then we'll do that. Y'all can contemplate if you have a, um, if you have a Xbox or not, <laughs> I guess. All right, let's put out the, uh, the signs there. My bad, dude. You even reminded me this morning and I forgot. So Peter, has come out. Two Point Hospital, that's what it is. Two Point Hospital, thank you. No, that's not it. There it is. Okay. So Peter has made a boatload, and I mean a lot. I think every single animal, right? Of custom passport photos that you can put in, or that you can download and put into your uh, zoos. Look at this. These are so great. They're color coordinated too. Um... Yeah, my bad, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Use the one meter ones. Too late. The one meter ones look better, though, everyone. Note that. That the two meter one or the one meter ones apparently look better. So there you go. But yeah, these are um these are this is just a little sample. This is a little sample of what Peter's been working on for um, the last little bit here. Um, but yeah, they have uh, all the animals from the uh, from the game there. So this is the um, this color coordination is the Americas, this is Africa, uh, the aquatic, Australia, Asia, and um, Arctic. So yeah, and then like I said, they have all the different animals for these things too. And look at all the different de oopsies. Look at all the different details that they've done. They have all of this in there. This is awesome. Yeah, these are great, aren't they? These are really nice. So yeah, there you go. And again, there's a, like every single animal in the game has this. So it's like, definitely get these into your zoos. <laughs> definitely get these into your zoos. Yeah, yeah, these are really nice. So awesome. All right, now, now that I didn't forget that, I get apologies, Peter. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and we'll give away that Two Point Hospital, thank you, Sawdust, that Two Point Hospital uh, Jumbo, which I'm gonna guess for the Xbox, which I'm gonna guess is like, the whole, like, all the DLCs and stuff. Don't hold me to that, but um, it's called, yeah, Theme uh, Two Point Hospital Jumbo Pack. So, all right, let me log in to Nightbot. Now, the way to get entered into this is you basically have to type into chat, and then you're entered. So, once you type into chat, um, then it'll be done. <laughs> then it'll be, uh, go oh, you know what? Oh, I can set it up for keyword. That's cool. We're going to do the keyword Conga. C-O-N-G-A. Yeah, there we go. So everyone, start typing in Conga. It's for Xbox One. There you go. So Xbox One giving away Two Point Hospital Jumbo Pack. So C-O-N-G-A. There we go. We got two people in. C-O-N-G-A. There we go. We'll give everyone just a few minutes. Remember, don't maybe don't uh, if you don't have an Xbox One, maybe don't <laughs> enter in. Um, and then yeah, this is for Two Point Hospital. But if you do, Two Point Hospital is a really fun game. I don't know if anyone's uh, really played it here, um, but yeah, it's really really fun. Well, you're you're good, Josh. <laughs> you are in. You are in. All right, we'll give everyone just a few more minutes to. Or not minutes, but a few more seconds to kind of enter on in. And we're going to type in Conga, C-O-N-G-A. Then, uh, yeah, then we have three more to give away after this. We have three more to give away after this. We have Mega Aquarium for the PlayStation, uh, Hellpoint for the PC, and Planet Coaster Spooky Pack. Look at that. Look at that. Take you out. Okay, buddy. Gotcha. Oh, you don't have Xbox Live. Yeah, okay. Cool, all right. Well, hey, I'm gonna say that's enough time. Let's go ahead and roll it and see who gets the pack. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba! Jake! 
Congratulations to Jake Flynn, who's also the thumbnail for today. Uh, I will go ahead and message you um, the code. Oops, we put it there. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I will message you the code actually right now. There we go. Just so I don't forget. We well, may as well do it right on the spot, huh? So yeah, awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Hope you have some fun with Two Point Hospital. Have you ever played Two Point Hospital before? Have you ever played it before? I played it when it very first came out on PC, and it was a good time. And speaking of that, who's excited for Two Point uh, Campus? Remember, that's going to be coming out soon as well, where it's basically Two Point Hospital, but for um, for building a campus. JM. X. I can say the code out loud now since I haven't said the first part. Seven two Q six niner. Okay, that should be it, Jake. If it doesn't work, please let me know, and I will do it again. <laughs> so awesome! All right, very good. So oh jeez, oh jeez. Two point with STD. Exactly. Yeah, two point with beer and STDs. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our second part of the showcase, which is the mods. It's the mods. So cool. Yeah, we have a lot of really cool mods today. A lot of really cool mods today. So, all right, first one up. Let's go ahead and do the animals because we have some animals and we have um, and we have props as well. So first one up, let's do... Oh, I don't want to do them right there because they're not swimming. Let's do the unicorn. So this is a, um, a redo mod. So this mod has been out for a little while, to my understanding. Uh, originally made by Pure Winter. You got it, nice, good, uh, nice stuff, enjoy, buddy. Um, but yeah, this is made originally by Pure Winter when we were still doing replacement mods heavily. Uh, and Leaf came in and I think redid a lot of it and uh, re-uploaded it. So here you go, here you go, here's the uh, unicorn. Look at this, I love the coloring on it, right? It looks amazing. So there's the male. Male variation here is a female variation, which is like the typical unicorn. It's a unicorn, Harry. There's the female. Look at the eyes. Beautiful. Nice. The so good stuff from Leaf and Pure Winter. All right. Next up are our ducks swimming. No, they're not. We need our ducks to go swim, and then we'll check them out. Next up, let's check out uh, from Seth, right? I think it's from Seth. Here is the Asian small clawed otter. Yeah, from Seth. There you go, look at that. Always need some more otters there. Looks so good, I know, right? It's almost like I almost want to build like a fantasy zoo because of it. Oh, there you go, little otter dude. So there's the small clawed otter, the male, and here's the female. Pretty sure they both look pretty well exactly the same. Yeah, nice stuff there from Seth. Asian small clawed otter. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing the ducks when they're not in the water. <laughs> yeah, fluffy and soft, right? Oh, here we go. Next up, this is the sloth bear from Leaf. Ooh, we got to beat up uh, sloth bear a little bit, but uh, adds character. But yeah, here is the sloth bear. Look at the fluffiness. Speaking of uh, fluffy, I don't know about cute, but fluffy for sure. Look at the big dude. I love the way that these look. Oh, I, I know. I love it, too. The the fluffy boy. <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, where's the other one? I think there's supposed to be two. I don't know where the second one is. Maybe it died. Oh, shoot. You know what? It might have died. Please tell me I have the creative. I do have the creative preset on. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's the sloth. I'm sure the male is, but I'm pretty sure the male looks um, about the same there. So um, cool. Yeah, poor Baloo. <laughs> uh, next up. Next up, next up. Here we go. Here's another little thing. I don't know what this is, but it's small and cute. Oh, here it is. The Red Rumped Aguti from Leaf and Lion Rider. So there you go. There's the Red Roof, uh, Red Rough, Red Rumped, excuse me. Red Rumped Aguti from Leaf and Lion Rider. Some more small animals. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a squirrel. It's, it's not a squirrel, though. There's the female and here's the male. Swim along. Or like a... <laughs> Look at the legs underwater. Watching animals swim is like the derpiest thing in the world. It's the derpiest thing in the world to see animals swim. <laughs> like their legs kicking underwater. There's a whole video that showed like dogs and like... Uh... Oh, there's the, there's the sloth bear. He's just underwater. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, look at this little thing. Little rat looking squirrel thing. Yeah, nice cute little animal. 
Next up, actually, you know, let's take a look at the, the bear. That's, he's like, uh, the girl's loving swimming right now. She's been underwater for, like, way too long. <laughs> if Leaf are, um, who, who did this one? If Leaf is here, what is the sloth bear base? I mean, it's based off a of bear, right? It'd have to be based off a of bear. I'm just wondering which bear likes to go underwater this much that he bases off of. It's like a fish. The Formosan and the Sun Bear. Oh, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. I love seeing them swim underwater. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I'm sure it's been a thing that you always do, but that's cool that you like. Um, yeah, that's cool. I love seeing the bears swim underwater. I know some people think they look derpy, but I think they look great. I think it looks so fun when they're uh, swimming underwater, especially the sloth pair with its big neck and <laughs> furriness. That's so good. Uh, okay, anyways, we saw that. Let's, hey, the ducks are in the water. Let's uh, quickly click on them before they decide to get out of the water. Let's go ahead and see. This is the mallard duck from Bongo. So there you go. There's the, I think it's the female, right? Because the male is the one that looks prettier. So yeah, here's the um, female mallard duck. This is so good. Now we just need Canadian geese and we can, I can uh, make a whole on uh, North American uh, zoo again. <laughs> like with ambient animals and stuff. But yeah, here's the female. Uh, where's the male? There's the male. Just perfect timing getting right in. Uh, and there's the male. There we go. This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited. I love these little ambient animals uh, that we're getting in. The ducks, and again, like geese, and um, yeah, this, these little small ambient animals. Love it, love it, love it. Cool, all right, let's check out the, uh, since we're in the water, there's a lot of water animals actually today. I think that the turtle should be in here. There's a turtle. Hi, turtle. Here's from Leaf as well, right? Um... There it is. Uh, this is the leatherback sea turtle from Leaf and Aurora. There we go. Oh, it's Palsley. There's the dork. Uh, just came to Lurk and Show Support. Thank you for being a fundraiser. Uh, at present, we're at 5,500 on all platforms. Really? Wow, good job, everybody. We're up to 5,500 uh, fake money. Uh, we're up to 5,500 Monopoly money with that sign behind it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Euros. Um, but yeah, no, good job, everyone. Keep, uh, keep pouring it in. Um, if we can exceed that, goal that's you know it's always better so um but yeah cool here's the leatherback sea turtle uh from leaf and aurora designs let's see if the other one's in here thanks for thanks for lurking palsley good to see you buddy and here's the other one this one hasn't moved it's been is it dead no it's not um but this one has like literally not moved since i put it in <laughs> he just kind of it i watched it because I, I wanted to see what they look like and it came over here turned on its side and was like i'm good <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah this dude is is probably stuck in the ground we're gonna say but yeah here, here's the female but uh, this kind of shows off the really nice uh, underbelly look at this if i would have known better this thing's covered in oil and it needs to get washed off it needs to get washed off look at all the oil on it holy cow uh dude, yes we did leaf yep yep we we showed up the mail uh, we it's really cool everyone loved the coloring on it looks amazing that's a pound sign. We don't deal with Mickey Mouse heroes. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> pound it. Nice. Uh, next up. I know we have a few more here. Where's the penguins? Where are the penguins at? Huh, Seth? Where are your penguins? Do, 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 do. Oh, they're not here. Why not? I know I put them in the zoo. That's okay. We'll just look them up like this. Penguin. Oh, I don't know why but your penguins didn't make it over at all. What the heck, Seth? What the heck? <laughs> um, while I figure that one out, we're, we'll show off the rest of the mods. We'll uh, have to unload the game and reload it in. No big deal. Uh, but yeah, the last little bit that we're going to show off for mods is going to be um, actually a prop pack. And I didn't look this up beforehand, so I don't know what it is or where it's based out of modded ah ha, ha got it got it hey what's up bongo we were just um gushing over your amazing well, these look good these look really good we were just gushing over your awesome mallards there all right, let me put all these out. So Lion Rider, right? This is just Lion Rider. Yes, Lion Rider has taken it upon himself to make a new foliage pack dedicated to palm trees. And I know everyone wants more foliage. This looks really good too. 
It look, I mean, not to, not that he doesn't make good stuff normally, but I'm just kind of like, whoa, these look really good. <laughs> uh, can't wait for these to be on uh, Theme Maker's Toolkit. But yeah, so here is the prop pack here. The, um, what'd you officially call it? The Palm Prop Pack. There you go. Yeah, look at these. A lot of really useful stuff um, for people that use uh, these scenery mods here. Really, really nice. I think my favorite, to be honest with you, I think my favorite is this one right here. You know why? It's because it's like a common, it's like a little set piece almost. It's like a combination of all these, like a little cluster put together, but it's only one piece. And that's just like, I think that's so much better. Um, so yeah, no, they look really, yeah, really realistic, right? Yeah, no, I mean, they look really good. So always, you know, with these, there's always a disclaimer that this is scenery mods. So um, just be aware that uh, if you do upload a zoo with this mod, uh, with these palm trees in them that you need to let people know that there are scenery mods in your game or it will crash your uh the other people's games there so uh yeah any 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 scenery mods or prop mods anything that you use um be sure to let people know the animal mods are technically fine you can load up a zoo that has uh animal mods even if you don't have the animal mod it'll just load up an empty habitat but prop mods are where the um the problems come in so um yeah that's that's just a little disclaimer so yeah good stuff from lion rider there Damn, <laughs> damn indeed. So cool, all right, well, hey, we're gonna do, uh, that's the finishing up of the mod section, kinda. I know we need to do Seth still, and we will. Actually, you know what, yeah, let me just do that real quick. Let me uh, escape, escape, escape. Okay, escape's not working. <laughs> let me quit the uh, uh, the game real quick, load up Seth's mod, since mods take like two seconds to load in. Um, and then we'll get showing off the Humboldt Penguin. The Humboldt Penguin. It's the most humble penguin of them all. There it is, Humboldt. I knew I downloaded it. Uh, OVL. Like this, penguin. Bam. Yep, I just forgot to put it in, Seth. That's my bad. That's my bad. Play the game. And we'll jump right back in. And so then after this, we're going to be doing a giveaway. We'll probably do the other um, Xbox, or we'll do the uh, PlayStation giveaway for Mega Aquarium. And then we're gonna be showing off, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six zoos to show off today. Six zoos and habitats overall, so pretty nice stuff there. Pretty nice stuff. I forgot this. No, uh. Josh, I saw your message on Discord. I chose not to show that just because um, we already showed that off before. So I didn't really see a reason to show it off uh, for a second week in a row. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go ahead. And I'll find it here. There it is. There it is. All right, we'll get those. And what are these? The Santa... Oh, we showed those off last week. We showed those off last week. And here we go, the Humboldt penguin. So another penguin species for everyone. Look at these guys. Look at the little dot, 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 dot. Do they really have, like, little dots all over them like that? That's funny. <laughs> the nose is crazy. They're like the strip of skin or just coloring on the beak there. And their eyes, too, little beady eyes. They look like loons. Is anyone else familiar with loons? Uh, loons have these kind of beady, uh, crazy eyes like that. But look at these guys. <laughs> these are good. Here's the male and here's the female. I love the polka dot little bit going on there. We have them in, you have them in your local zoo? Cool. You know, I'm not really familiar with these, with this penguin. Is South American penguin living mainly in uh, blah, 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 na uh, National Reserve in the north of Chile? Although its habitat comprises most of coastal Peru, um, its nearest relatives are the African penguin. The, uh, oh, interesting. So these live in South America mainly. Yeah. Very interesting. And they live with another fight. Yeah, they're just like all penguins. Uh oh, Seth might want to address this. It's a little pixelated, buddy. Um, but yeah, no, that's really cool. Really nice. Some more penguins. Always more penguins. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go ahead and back on out here. And we will check out uh, the habitats and zoos now. Whoa, before we do, we got to do a giveaway. I almost forgot. Almost forgot there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead. Reset the eligibility. How do I do this? There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, giveaways. Keyword. There it is. Okay, so again, we're going to be giving away another key here. This is going to be a PlayStation key. Oh, I saved the image. I forgot. I can just bring it up. So we're going to go ahead and give away the Mega Aquarium PlayStation US. Now, it does say US after it in big, bold red letters. So I do believe this is strictly for uh, my fellow United States brethren there. <laughs> so apologies to you, those of you abroad that wanted Mega Aquarium. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and what are we going to make the name? We're going to make the keyword uh, fishy, F-I-S-H-Y. Cool, yeah, so go ahead and start to type in fishy, F-I-S-H-Y, um, if you would like to be entered in to the drawing for Mega Aquarium on the PlayStation in the US. Mega Aquarium's fun. It's kind of a, like, it, it reminds me a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon, like those kind of isometric uh, top-down games. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really heavy in the management. There's some really good building and detail work you can do in it as well, but yeah, Mega Aquarium's always fun to kind of pick up um, every once in a while. Um, for a few hours, so. But yeah, type in Fishy, F-I-S-H-Y, if you would like to be in the running for the PlayStation one. If no one does, that's fine. It's kind of a niche thing to give away a, a Mega Aquarium PlayStation <laughs> code. So if no one has it, that's fine. We'll move on to the uh, next one. And, I'll, and I can recycle it back to um, Palsley and then they can have someone else try and give it away. So it looks like no one has the PlayStation or wants Mega Aquarium. I'll give it another few seconds. Yeah, if only had a PS4. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Steam. Yeah, I don't really... I wouldn't really want to play this game on a console, to be honest with you. So, yeah, let's skip it. All right, I'll give that one back. So, let's go ahead and do Hellpoint. What the heck is Hellpoint? Hellpoint game. Hellpoint on Steam. 85% of people like it. Hellpoint is an action role-playing game developed by Cradle Games and published by Tiny Build. Released for Microsoft Windows. Okay, well, that doesn't tell me much. <laughs> what, what is it? It's an RPG. Let's see. Hellpoint is an intense action RPG taking place on Irid Novo, a derelict space station soaked in an intoxicating dark sci-fi atmosphere. Fight dreadful creatures, face the cosmic gods, and unravel their twisted story. Should the challenges be too great, play with a friend in a local or online co-op cool this came out um last year on july 30th looks kind of neato so yeah hell point let's do that one um so go ahead and type in fishy let's keep it the same so type in <clears throat> fishy um and this is going to be on the pc as well and it's not uh region restricted either so if anyone wants to try out hell point i've never heard it before but it sounds pretty badass to be honest with you um type in fishy f-i-s-h-y anybody is eligible Anyone is eligible. I understand that, Becca. Our, my one dog can get out of control sometimes if he starts barking his head off at someone outside. It's like, shut it! <laughs> um, but yeah, so go ahead and start to enter but again by typing in that. Boom! And that will get you going for Hellpoint on PC, on Steam. There we go. We got two people in there already. Looking good, looking good. Three. Nice. You know, all people are entering, you know what I'll do? I'll just show off the trailer for Hellpoint since most of us seem to not be too familiar with it. It's two minutes, I'll give people enough time to take a look. Or get entered. There we go, display capture, there we go. Turn up the sound a little bit so we can watch you guys. I felt like this world is upside down. Don't forget to type in fishy if you'd like to be entered in to win this game for free. Too spoopy? It does look a little bit spoopy. I can dig a good RPG. There will always be those who oppose progress. 
Hell, if no one else enters in, I'm gonna enter myself in. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> that's right now we have three people, so the three people that entered in, you'll have a really good chance of winning this. That's the oh shit moment. Danielle, I got you. You're good. You <laughs> Danielle's really excited. She's like, I need this game. <laughs> you are entered now in, my friend. You are ours. Yeah, we got Seth, Harry, and Daniela. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Oops, not that one. That one. So, all right, let's go ahead and roll it. And... Bam! Seth went ahead and won it there. Sorry, Daniela and Harry. Um, better luck next time. But yeah, good job there to Seth who has just won our giveaway there for Hellpoint. Very good stuff, buddy. Very good stuff. Let me go ahead and find you right now. There's Seth. There's a Seth. <laughs> I'll send this over. Let me know right away if this does not work or if I typed it in wrong. TF549. A cutie, a Q T F Z logger. Cool, there you go, buddy. Enjoy that. Cool, let me turn the music back on so we're not just sitting here in silence. I'll turn the music down so you can hear me talk too if you want to. And all right, let's jump into the rest of the showcase here. We have a lot of really cool zoos and stuff to uh, jump into. These are really good. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? We this happened last week too, or two weeks ago. So who's? I was just trying to load into Basic Builders uh, Zoo. Basic Builder, you don't have any mods, right? Not this again. <laughs> I don't want to have to uninstall my game and reinstall it like I had to do two weeks ago. But yes, does Bali Canyon Zoo from Basic Builder have any mods in it? Please let me know. In the meantime, we'll check out Dolphin Circus, Circus, because I know that one for sure. Oh, you do. Ah, I did not know that, my friend. I did not know that. <laughs> okay. All right. Just let me know which um, mods are in it, and then we can show it up next week. Because it's, it's a really good series. If y'all are watching Bali Zoo um, on YouTube, definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. Really good stuff from uh, Basic. So yeah, just let me know. We'll, we'll check it out next week, buddy. No worries. Uh, cool. Hey, let's go ahead and check out this really interesting. This is a, such an interesting build from uh, BZ. BZ, my boy. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a continue. Oh, look at this. You got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, let me go ahead and read your description for this because I think you um, it deserves a description read. I think it deserves a description read. Oh, it has the Africa pack. Yeah, I don't have that. I do not have that. I'm kind of staying away from prop and scenery mods um, for the time for the foreseeable future. So, all right, here we go. From BZ, backstory, Adventureland side stories. Remember we took a look at Adventureland uh, last week? So Adventureland side story, as Adventureland prepares to open a new water park section, Water World, the owner rents out a traveling dolphin circus for the opening ceremony. Long story short, Adventureland helps these dolphins find freedom. Um, also a small, crappy, big cat enclosure, some cool rock work, full map, work in progress. Also, you need the dolphin mod. We have the dolphin mod. <laughs> we have the dolphin mod. So cool. And yes, we have the billboard. It, it doesn't load in. Uh, that's, thanks for reminding me. Um, it doesn't load in. So I have to like go through and physically tell it to do it. There it goes. So, all right, but yeah, let's look at this. This is a really interesting build. Who was it last week that we took a look at that did a circus and stuff? Remember last week we did the same kind of thing? Um, so yeah, the circus type builds are kind of getting some traction here. I know it's gonna make a lot of zoo nerds upset. Like, oh no, the imaginary animals are not feeling good. But don't, don't forget, People can do fun builds like this, and it's all imaginary. It's all digital. It's fine. <laughs> um, I love all the construction sets you have going on, and like the circus sign. Man, this is so good. <laughs> the wheel of fire. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good build, man. 
This is really good. And yeah, here is the main event, right? The main tent area. So here you go. Look at all the little like balls. It's, I mean, it's set up just like a regular dolphin show. <clears throat> oh, drawing. Yes, thank you, Harry. Thank you. Yep. And I love the clever use of the tricking or getting the guests stuck. You see how he does this with the path? See? It's kind of sneaky, sneaky, and then the guests are. And which, when you take pictures of them, it, it looks good because it looks like they're waving and like having a good time and stuff. You can actually get some really neat um, pictures set up with guests in the background stuck, quote unquote. <laughs> um, and yeah, no, it's it's really funny I can get it. I love the jankiness of it, like all the boards coming up and everything. And ah, oh, this is really good, dude. This is really good. Here's an outside perspective of it, of the big top. There you go. Yeah, I like that you even did like the support columns coming down too, all the tension. What do we have back here? We'll check out the big cat enclosure as well. What's going on back here? Some work in progress. Ah, that's where the guests come in. Yeah, clever. Cool. All right, let's check out this big cat enclosure. I love that, that you hooked up the trailer and everything. Oh, that's so clever. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, did I miss S Dan earlier? I did, didn't I? I put that in like the back of my brain to like say hi to S Dan, and then I just totally forgot to say anything. <laughs> Thanks for having the game. Oh, nice dude. Let me know how you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, look at this big cat enclosure. Pretty sad, but looks good still, right? Not all builds have to be you know 100 percent welfare to be amazing still like this is still just like a great like build and like representation of what they were trying to go for with the uh with the vibes and everything um so yeah i love that it looks so good so yeah good stuff man what's this oh that's great oh look at that you got the red foxes in there <laughs> that's cool nice so hey there you go from bz and you said it's a work in progress so i do hope we see uh some more um from the eventually inside wait i forgot i didn't turn around Hey, everyone, look, <laughs> just look. Let, let me turn on reshade for this one. There we go. There we go. Have to turn on some reshade for this because look at this, dude. That's spectacular. The rock work and everything. Holy crikey. The detail. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of incredible. That's that's amazing. That's stinking amazing. Just kind of overlooking the uh, circus area so yeah no that's awesome can't wait to see some more um, updates for uh this map there good stuff dude really good stuff holy rock work batman yeah, <laughs> yeah that's an understatement <laughs> um cool all right so let's go ahead and subscribe there nile river animal oh i see you already took it down basic <laughs> oh no there it is uh, Nile River Animal Park. Very good. Can't wait, BZ. Can't wait, ma'am. Always great to see uh, a BZ build. <laughs> Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Nile River Animal Park from Maximilian Q. I don't remember. I don't know that we've seen anything from Maximilian Q. No, we have in the past. We've seen a few things, haven't we? Well, either way, this is from them. <laughs> This is from them. And again, special shout out to all of you watching who have been uh, donating uh, over on the Conga Wildlife uh, GoFundMe area. If, if you're subscribing to their Twitter, to their YouTube, again, thanks a lot for all of that because it does uh, help out that amazing uh, foundation there and everything. So really good. So all right, let's go ahead and head on in here. Look at this part. This is fun. This is fun so far. Here's the entrance. This little parking spot, everyone's got their same Jeeps that they want to ride on in. <laughs> parking vacant, all right. That's speak of the devil and he shall sh uh, show up there. <laughs> Max Quigley shows on up, what's up buddy? Look at this, yeah, look at that. Oh, shit is right. Look at that temple and everything. There's an interior too. There's an interior. Oh, we'll go in that in just a second, but we got a, a marvel and all the goodness going on on the outside as well. Gifts, we got a nice little gift stand. I like the uh, the use of the uh, shipping containers. That's really cool. Kind of that Australia vibe a little bit. The restrooms are really... Oh, can we look inside the restrooms and peek on people? Hi! Oh, no. Never mind. 
<laughs> uh, I like that shade uh, structure. Nice. Yeah, I like how you put the shade structures ahead on top of the vending machines all over the place, too. Come back over this way. Oh, this is a big habitat over here. I didn't even realize. Y'all see this big old habitat over here? Wow. So what's hanging out in here? Just the, um, the Onyx? Oh, no, we have a few. We have the, oh, Gemsbach. Excuse me. Gemsbach and the Tortoise. Oh, there's a Tortoise. Oh, you see them? I see the Tortoises. Hi, Tortoises. <laughs> oh, hey, look at the city back there, too. That one looks good. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, mean, I was trying to think if you'd submitted anything before, but yeah, nice. Hopefully we see some more stuff from you in the future. This is great looking. Here we go. We have the, um, what are this going to be? The Beatles? Yeah, there they are. I didn't even need to click. I could actually see them moving around. Look at them. Hi, George. Hi, George. <laughs> Nice, some more gifts from the containers. Let's see, ooh, kind of moving to like a Middle Eastern vibe here. I mean, the whole thing's a little bit of a Middle Eastern vibe, but yeah. Let's head on in. Oh, wow, look at this. Maybe some reshade. Nah, it doesn't work as well in here. Look at this, big old food court. Man, yeah, you did a great job. Seating areas abound. Look at the outside of it too. Really well done. Was this a boat ride? Oh yeah, look at the boat ride. Uh oh, game froze. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, are there underwater feeders? I feel like there's underwater feeders over there. Let's not go over there. Uh, it did that same hang up that the underwater feeder bug does. So we're gonna stay away from the water for now, just in case that is a thing. <laughs> look, is this like the staff village? This might be my favorite area, like with all the architecture. This might be my favorite area. Look at this, the little uh, hangout spot. <laughs> how many people have a hammock at their job? I mean, maybe if you work at home, then you do, but yeah, how many people go to work and have a little hammock resting spot like that at their job? Man, I'd never work. I would never work. That's cool. Nice. There's a lot of, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, we will not turn around then, but know that there's a boat ride back there. <laughs> Cool. All right, let's head into the main attraction. It's definitely in this pyramid. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look, you can like look straight up in there, too. I like how you kept it open. That's cool. Oh, interesting. You have like the um, heaters up there. Bit of modern. Oh, it's like a museum. Education programs. There you go. But yeah, look at the museum bits that they have uh, hanging up here. I love this. What do we have in the middle? Meerkats. Hello. Hello, meerkats. Oh, that's cool. You made like an esophagus. <laughs> and the guests are actually going to use it too because you put a, uh, um, a vista point. I like the, the museum aspect of it with the meerkat in the middle. That's so, uh, that's really clever. Wow. Okay, cool. That's a really good use of the, uh, the interior there. Yeah, the hammock, your elite. Yep. Got that hammock work. Did I say esophagus? Maybe I did. <laughs> sarcophagus. Did I say esophagus or sarcophagus? Sarcoph... Damn it. Whichever. <laughs> Whichever. Make them both work. So <laughs> Awesome. Hey, this is really cool. And, oh, wait, there's more out here. Oh, the pyramids of Giza out here. Look at that. That's so cool. There you go. There's your there's your thumbnail shot right there, huh? A little bit of desert spray over top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> nice. So cool. All right, let's. I want to look at that stuff over there, Max. But now that you said there's underwater feeders, I'm a little bit hesitant. I see some stuff swimming out there, um, and it looks like the details are nice. But I'm not gonna risk the game crashing. Not your fault, right? Uh oh, there it goes. Come on, baby, we can pull through. Don't crash. Don't crash. Yeah, no, not your fault. Frontier, I cannot believe that that is still a bug <clears throat> after all this time. Like, how long has the Africa pack been out? And it was an issue before that. <laughs> and they said it still hasn't been fixed. It's like, ooh, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, really good stuff, Max. Hopefully we see some more stuff uh, from you in the future. Uh, just pausing. No, nope. I don't believe so. It just 
kills it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's a planet game, Leaf. <laughs> Again, like coming from Planet Coaster, I guess I'm just kind of used to it, but um, yeah, the more updates that Planet Coaster and more DLCs that Planet Coaster got, the more the game got broke. I mean, there was times that, like, for months on end that, like, the 3D gizmo was borked for, like, two, three months or something like that. Yeah, it just... I don't know. The more they update it, the more they mess with stuff that they maybe shouldn't be messing with. I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm dumb dumb when it comes to coding. Um, so, yeah, hey, cheers, Max. Again, hopefully you see some more stuff from you uh, 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 for later on. Got it to fix, uh, fix it, basic builder? Nice. Good. Yep, we'll take a look at it next week. So, all right, so here we have, yeah, the Fennec Fox. This is Toves, isn't it? Yeah, the Fennec Fox Park file from Toves. This is really cool. This is really cool. This is kind of a um, build off of all the other habitats that you've been kind of building and stuff too. So, uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the Fennec Fox build here. So again, you get a nice custom billboard here. Did you make this? Or did you just find this somewhere? Because I love the art style of that. And yeah, here's our... Here's our Phoenix. Wait, can you change the color of that, or did you cover this in something? TIL, I learned that you can change the exhibit information board sign, uh, the coloring on it. I had no idea. None. <laughs> I always forget to check that. I always forget to check that if you can change the color or something. <clears throat> you did not? Okay. Well, look at that. Look at all the tile work in there. Oh my god. Oh, hey, look at the sunrise or sunset or whatever coming up over the in the backdrop. That's so clever. I love this. This is so good. This is like our staff entrance back here. Yeah, something like that. Or closet. Wow. Look at all the details. Yeah, this is <laughs> so good. And those new chain link pe uh, fence pieces coming in in the clutch right now. Being able to cover that up. Look at that, everyone. A little bit of the backstage area going on, too. Looks like the foxes can kind of go back and forth. They can, yeah, they can kind of go back and forth whenever they want to. So if they are not wanting to be out and about, <clears throat> excuse me. And then they can go back here. There they are, sleeping. Whoa, that's so cool. You built their little cardboard boxes or whatever uh, boxes. That looks really good. Dang, dude. I wouldn't expect anything less, but still. Dang, dude. <laughs> Ah, there's the outside entrance, and then you kind of snuck in a little bit of a... That's a really clever use of sneaking that in there. Yep, they're all chilling. Well, you know there, Silver Fox, I've been watching a lot of hockey, uh, hockey lately with the draft and the Blackhawks doing dumb dumb things, so I may have seen a boot, or my, my uh, boots might be a bit more Canadian lately than normal. Uh, yeah, really good stuff. And you know what? I know it's called the Fennec Fox one, but I'm going to come over here and look at this one, too. We're going to look at all the other stuff as well. <laughs> no, we already looked at this. That's right. We already saw this, so uh, we'll just look at it real quick since we did already see it uh, last week. But yeah, here's the... Uh, what we're here, the meerkats, right? I love this. This meerkat is so good. This meerkat habitat. And then your... These are kind of new. These have been added on recently, I think. It's always fun to come into people's... Um, parks and stuff that they've been kind of building on um, and submitting every so often. I kind of see little updates uh, every so often, so yeah, nice. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, oh, awesome stuff from Toves as always, so y'all be uh, sure to check that out. Go get some ideas, like it, favorite, comment it, all that fun stuff. Was that good, Cybers? Yeah, I did good, right? I was, I was so Canadian. I was soups Canadian. <laughs> Laters, Hermans. Wait, Hermes? No. Yours doesn't work. <laughs> hey, he put the retired United States Air Force at the end of his name. Good job, buddy. I love to see that. That's awesome. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> nice. All right. Next up. Oh, wow, we're already down to two, uh, two more. Two more. Yeah, did you see the blue tiles? It was supposed to represent the sky. Yep, it was supposed to represent the sky because there was a bit of a sunrise or sunset. Uh being built uh, behind it as well. It was really cool. Yes, exactly. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Hey, this is, what's this one called? The Zoo at the Edge of the World. This was a different one as well. Angry Skull, if you're still here, um, they put a little description for this. I think it was based off a book. Um, where is it there? Nile River. There it is. 
A recreation of the zoo at the edge of the world from the book, The Zoo at the Edge of the World. There you go. There you go. So if, you ever knew, if anyone's ever heard of this uh, book before, um, then maybe this will sound a little bit familiar, or look a little familiar there, so. Cool, yeah, let's check this out from Steam Gare you are. Hey, what's up, Steam Cat? Steam Cat, otherwise known as Angry Skull. I love your entrance here, look at that. Bam, llama overlooking everybody. Like, I am the llama. Bow before me. Big old structures as you come on in. Let's see if there's any interiors here. Nope, that's the uh, staff area. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Max. Appreciate it. Thanks for submitting, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good day at work there. Well, look at this. Holy cow. Big ol' like... village. Fang. Love the, uh, the farm going on over here, too. That's cool. The guests are actually coming back in here, too. Oh, because it's a, it's a habitat. Because it's a habitat. Very nice. What do we have here? Like the main village hall or something? Let's see if there's an interior. Hell, got, got some food in there. Some more uh, little long houses or whatever they're called out here. Little tribal houses. Looks like some more maybe staff areas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, then you come over here. It's like a... What is this? I <laughs> seen the guests up next to it. They're so tiny. Such a big build. Oh, cool. It's like a temple or something. Here's a habitat. I don't see anything in there. Let's go to the top. Boom! Right on top. Oops. That's pretty dang epic. Oh, there's an interior as well. There's definitely an interior. Holy guacamole. <laughs> uh, let's scoot forward. We'll go inside. Where's the uh, entrance in? Just ramps up, ramps up. There it is. Oh, it doesn't go in. Okay. So you can kind of look in here. Oh, yeah, there you go. What is this? I can't see you. Oh, uh, the Jaguar. You got a black one, too. All right, pretty. Yeah, a really good view from up there, right? <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the habitats are on the outside of it, on the bases. Okay. So there's all your habitat animals. Got an elephant in there. One lonely elephant. No worries. Looks like there's some uh, maybe down in here as well. Yeah. Wow, really cool. Look inside at the big glass. Oh, yeah, look at that big glass area. Oh, we got the chimps. <laughs> we got the chimps. Oh, a bunch of chimps. Hello. Hello, chimps. Chimpanzees. They got a big old area to hang out in. Very nice. So now the guests can kind of look through as they're like going up the stairs. That's kind of cool as you're going in. You kind of look down into the chimps. Cool. Now let me back way out. Let me see here. All right. So... There's a little sneaky bit over here. More staff. Yeah, it looks like more staffing or something like that. Um, but yeah, very nice, man. This is a really cool, unique build. Now, again, I've never heard of this story or this book before, but it definitely sounds interesting from uh, these big old structures and the habitats you've built there. So yeah, hey, really, uh, 30 chips and three rings. Holy guacamole. Um, really good build. Really unique. Um, really interesting. I've never heard of or seen anything like that, really. But um, yeah, it's really good stuff. All right. I think we have... I think we have one more. Holy cow, we already made it to the uh, last one there. Yeah, this is going to be our thumbnail. Jake! Jake Flynn made it on the thumbnail today. So this is, uh, you entered this into Raven Scar's build-off. This is a African, uh, what would you call it here? African Habitat build-off from Jake Flynn. Yeah, I thought this was spectacular. I hope you won, because this is really, really good. Um, or at least got a top marking in it or something like that. So, but yeah, here we go from Jake. Let's go ahead and head in to, let's do left. Let's go left. Rhino's ahead. You did win, good. Good, you should. <laughs> now are these? I thought you did, you mad lad. Oh, it's that one piece flipped upside down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what is this? Ah, see all these new African pieces. That's so clever, dude. That's so clever. Love that. 
transition back out here and we see our rhinos. Here's the big old habitat for them. There's one. I love the foliage work and rock work and little stream cutting through. Jeez. Talk about detail. Oh, look at that bridge going across too. Dude, yeah, really good stuff. This is a great habitat. You got the water kind of coming on the outside. Let's look at the uh, habitat gates over here. Uh, yeah, I'll second that OMG. And yeah, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful work. Cool, let's go back over this way. Let's see if we go over here. Oh, wow, look at down here. Hey, you know what? This might be my first time, the first time I've seen these statues uh, integrated that I actually don't mind them. Most times I'm like, wow, that's really out of place. But you've like integrated it really well with the lushness and um, everything. Just it looks really good. It looks really good. Look at all the details here. <laughs> and what a small footprint for a build too, right? Did you, so did you have it where you only had a certain small area to build in because if so you like utilized the heck out of every square inch that you had you love those statues you're very much in the minority when you say that though you are you are but i'm glad they that someone can appreciate them for their hideousness <laughs> i'm going back to the staff area this looks awesome oh you just happen to build like that it's really good you fill out every single area Right? You're like, there's no area that's kind of left like, oh, yeah, you can see where he kind of, like, skipped over that. No, it's just like, Jake built this out. <laughs> he built this all the way out. Oh, so good. Get the staff area back here. Oh, you even did an interior for the staff. All the stuff in the back here that you might throw in uh, at some point. <laughs> that kind of that creeped me out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Just coming through the door <laughs> and seeing this... Creepy. <laughs> that, that, that scared me a little bit. Gave me a little bit of a woo. Oh, look at all the details, man. <laughs> Planet dump. <laughs> I can't wait for Planet Trash to come out. Oh, wait, it did. It's called the South uh, the South America or the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Uh, find me in the alleyway. Fight me on it. Uh. Anyways. <laughs> Since people don't know, that is called sarcasm. And uh, it's meant to be taken as a joke. I know a lot of people don't know sarcasm or jokes in the community, so I have to spell it out. All right, market, gifts, toys, keeper talks, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Dude, look at this. I love that you put the keeper talk back in, you gave it a stage and everything. That's so cool. That's a really good use of the new ropes, too. I wish we had a straight version of those ropes. We need, like, because there's only curved versions and they're recolorable, which makes them so useful, but also there's no straight version. So it's like, oh! <laughs> uh, and then over here, look at this, dude. Like the canoe on top? Yeah, really nice. Rhino Market. Wow. So, all right, well, I think that is it. But look at the, look at the blueprint for this. You know, that's like... Oh, I mean, me included, that's most people's, like, habitat would be that, you know? But Jake went ahead and fit in a market, a keeper talk, you know, a little tunnel here, a whole rhino habitat, a waterfall with a creek, <laughs> um, you know, a whole staff village back here, like, um, dude, you, again, you are, like, the master of utilizing space, essentially. So, that was, you're going to turn it into a whole zoo? Wow. Well, please, uh, please keep us up to date with um, all the updates that you do there. So, very nice. Let's go ahead and find our Rhino Buddy. What's our Rhino Buddy's name? Hello, Rhino Buddy. Fumu! I love that name. Fumu. It's not like FOMO. It's Fumu. Um, but yeah, really good stuff. That was a great um, zoo to, uh, or a project to end on there. So, but hey, don't go far because we have one last thing to give away there for you planet nerds. Exit out of that. Nope, don't need to save it. Do, do. There should be a traditional concrete statue of a rhino in this game. I'm with you, Martin. I'm with you. They should just do almost all the animals, I think. All the base game animals. Um, but ZZ made one today, so there you go. Um, 
let me load up Nightbot. Where is Nightbot? No, it's not Nightbot. Here, Nightbot. I Nightbot. Uh, let me clear this out. Clear the giveaway. And we'll go to keyword. And the last keyword we'll do for the day to win. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention what we're gonna win. Uh, so the last one we're gonna do is going to be for the Planet Coaster Spooky DLC, which is in my opinion, the second best, the second best DLC for Planet Coaster. Because it has so many great building pieces, so many cool like dark ride um, bits. Um, yeah, I think uh, the Planet Coaster Spooky DLC is the second best followed behind uh, the Studios Pack. I think Studios Pack is my number one. Um, so yeah, this is for a PC. You need the base game. This is not Planet Coaster and the base or and the DLC. This is just the DLC. So make sure you have Planet Coaster, okay? Um, all right, let's go ahead and for the keyword, we're going to type in Spooky. S-P-O-O-K-Y is the keyword. If you would like to win... The, you better leave. I know you've been playing Planet Coaster lately. Uh, if you would like to win the Planet Coaster Spooky Pack, type in the word spooky and you will be entered in to win. There we go. We got a leaf entered in. Oh, now I don't have a PC, but I've been wanting to buy it. What's that, Planet Coaster? Yeah, Planet Coaster is good. It's now I will say for people that are only familiar with Planet Zoo. Going to Planet Coaster is a bit of a, ch uh, not a chore, it's a bit of a shock because you're going to think that it looks, uh, it's going to look the same and like feel the same, but it really doesn't. It's, it's in the same Planet Universe, but it feels different. The UI is clunky. The game looks old now. Um, it's still great and I, you know, I have over 2,000 hours in it, <laughs> but um, there's a reason that, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to Planet Coaster 2. So just keep, just keep that in mind. I always like to give the... A little forewarning there, but <clears throat> spooky. Yes, we have Becca, Harry, Leaf, Toves. If you would like to win these spooky pack for Planet Coaster on PC, and you do need the base game for Planet Coaster, uh, definitely type in spooky, and we will get you entered on in there. We'll give it another. You know what I'll do? I'll look up the trailer for it. That, that seems to give people enough time. We'll look up the trailer for it because it's a great trailer. Planet Coaster spooky. There we go, okay. Set up, set up, there we go, and turn that on. And again, if you would like to win this, type in Spooky. I'm pretty sure everyone that wants to enter has already entered, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, that's right, we got the, oh, what memories. This is great coming back and seeing this. This was the first D uh, paid DLC that Planet Coaster got. This is the first paid DLC that we got. Before this, we had a year and a half of free updates for the game. So many new animatronics came with it, so many new rides, so many new building pieces. When this came out, this is when everyone turned into, like, hardcore builders, because we finally got, like, recolorable wood pieces, and, uh, yeah, up until then, like, there was some really cool realistic builds going on, but nothing to the extent of, like, what happened after Spooky Pack came out. It changed the game. And then, yeah, my, my other favorite one after the, the one after this that really changed the game was uh, Studios. Studios Pack came out and it, like. <sighs> ah! I was scared. <laughs> I'm gonna poop myself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's, that's so fun seeing that again. That's so fun. I don't know what it was, but there was just something about the, uh, the Planet Coaster days that it just it just slapped harder in some way it just it just hit a different kind of way all right let's go ahead and roll this there and ready here we go one two three kabam harry guess what harry guess what you done won my friend you have won the spooky pack and i know you were saying i never win anything well guess what you just won there so good job, Harry. Let me go ahead and message you the pack and everything. Wait, what's your name on, uh, <laughs> what's your name again on uh, Discord? I know you're something different, aren't you? I don't know, I'll find you after. Tell me your name on, uh, on uh, Discord there and I'll be able to find you. So nice, nice, really good stuff there. Um, and yeah, yeah, Pangolin, that's right, you're Pangolin, man. 
You said that's spooky? You want to see something kind of like what you could really do with the spooky pack and a lot of Planet Coaster stuff? Um, while I'm typing this out. There it is. So, uh, while I'm getting this all set up, I'll show you this, it's my video so I can show it. I'm not gonna copyright myself. Um, but yeah, this video was made a little while ago. Now, like, when was it? 2019, October 30th, 2019. This was a collaboration project I did for the Bro Nation server. Um, and yeah, we made a super duper spooky, like, scary ride, essentially. And yeah, let me, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. There you go. So it's called Sanctuary. This is from me, Aces California, and a silent member. This is really fun to do. All right, let me get that to you, uh, Harry. But yeah, this is, a lot of this uses the um, Team TK and a lot of spooky pack stuff. All right, there you go. Check that. Make sure it works. Make sure it works. Yeah, man, look at all the props and stuff we had in Planet Coaster. I miss all the building stuff. And I know people are gonna argue, Planet Zoo shouldn't be a building ape, but yes, it should. Yes, it should. You don't go to an empty field and look at an animal at a zoo. You gotta build something around it. <laughs> I will always argue that we should have more pieces in the game. Always, always, always. I'm gonna skip through this a little bit. Look how spooky. Look how so spooky. Oh, man. Oh, spooky stuff. Ah, the triggered effects. Ah, oh, we don't even have triggers in this game. Y'all don't even know what you're missing with triggers. <laughs> you could trigger it that whenever like the ride would go over a certain part of the track, like lights would like light up and everything. Bam. I hope we get that. If you spot an infected individual, do not approach him. Quietly get as far away as possible and tell a higher up. Thank you. That's right, I did voiceovers for this. <laughs> we did a whole production, man. We got in second place for this competition, too. First place definitely deserved it, but we put a lot of work into this. This is just the queue. Jenkins, where are those supplies I asked you for? Sorry, sir. I haven't heard back from the supply team in a few days. I, I, I think something... I don't care what you think. Bunch of lazy good for nothing. Just give me those supplies. There you go, a little bit of custom audio, custom billboards. We have those in Planet Zoo, but man, we had the triggers. You've been playing around with it, so the triggers are really fun, man. They kind of got, they kind of broke us a little bit during this uh, competition because like there's so many triggers for the ride and stuff, um, and they stop reacting on time after a little bit. And when you get so many triggers in the game, right, it starts everyone, to listen up. Oh, here Welcome we go. To the sanctuary, the only place left that's safe from those things. Now, we need all hands on deck to keep this place safe and running, which is where you come in. Right now, our security leader, Biff, is out securing the old sewer tunnels around the complex with him and his team. I need all of you to go meet up with him to assist in any way possible. Biff's got a bit of a temper, so best just to do what he says. Go ahead and head on up to the loading docks and we'll get you sent out. I'll be able to communicate with you via radio in the vehicle. Good luck, and stay safe. I sound so young. I know, two years ago, well, it was pre-pandemic. The pandemic aged all of us a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is just the queue. This is just the line. There we go, now we're in the station finally. But yeah, it's a, it's a zombie thing. It's a zombie ride. There we go, when the train comes in, the triggers should activate. There they go, here's the one light blinked. That means the train is coming back into the station. Hey, Adam, what's up, buddy? Here we go. There's the soundtrack, too. Okay. Now that you've left the loading dock, drive over to the machine shop. There's a safe opening for you to use there. From the machine shop, head out to the other side of the complex. You'll see Biff and his men there. No, you're right, Toes. They're, they're not as much of a thing. I don't think we'll get triggers. Woo! Hands up! Come on, 
Put your hands up. What are you doing? Enjoy the ride. Okay, you fun. should start to see fit for a screw around there somewhere. What was that? Was that gunfire? Get in there quick and see what's going on. Biff, come in. This is base. Biff, I don't know. I don't like the look of this, everyone. It's not... Oh, shoot! Get out of there! Get back to base now! Oh, Crap. the zombies! They're behind us, quick! Get out through the garage as fast as possible. Go forward now! Run, go, go, go! <laughs> I know you're lost right now, but I need you to drive back towards the base. There's an old water pumping station I can meet you at. So, thank you, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm kind of showing it because nobody watched it. Like, nobody watched it. We put so right, much good. work into it. It was for a competition. Like, I just kind of threw it up on YouTube, there, up whatever. There, but, yeah, like, nobody gave a shit. <laughs> and I was like, damn, this is a cool build. What is that? Drop track. Ooh, we just dropped you, down. Oh, no. It looks like you fell into the tunnel system. Get out of there. Now we're in the tunnels and the sewer system because the ground fell out, but it's okay, we gotta get back! Quick, this way, I see you! Right over here! Quick! Quick! Phew, we Glad made to it. see we all made it safe back. Wasn't expecting the run Good to go job, like everybody. that. You see, now the, better look next time. the station's Survivors. all derelict looking Please and exit to the abandoned right the and stuff because the zombies have taken over. <laughs> Thanks, everyone! Link this in the video. What's that in the description of this video? But yeah, there was Sanctuary. That that brought back a lot of fun memories. Like, doing like fun competitions and playing a coaster and just, I don't know. And it's probably because I'm more of a theme park guy, but I just had, there was a, I don't know what the word for it is, camaraderie or just whatever with the Planet Coaster community that just haven't fully felt ever with the Planet Zoo community. <laughs> I feel like I should have paid money to write that. <laughs> But yeah, that was a really, really fun build. Like a really, and this was about a month. I think it was about a month build. You guys didn't have zoo drama. Yeah, I will say that that you zoo nerds just you like to argue <laughs> about nothing most of the time about imaginary animals and how they feel. <laughs> it's like oh, okay, you have fun. <laughs> I, yeah, no, we didn't ever get into those kind of arguments. Uh, Back in the uh, Planet Coaster days, really. Anyways, but yeah, so that I can't. Oh yeah, I was showing off the. I was showing off the uh, spooky pack stuff. That's the whole point. <laughs> that wasn't it. So, but anyways, yeah, cool. So there we go. But hey, now we're back. We're transported out of the zombie area back to good old Planet Zoo. So it's okay. We're all we're all back in the safe areas of Planet Zoo now. So all right. Well, hey, let's go ahead and uh, we'll call it there. That was that was a pretty good stream. I'm gonna go buy a car. I'm going. I'm gonna go buy a car today. Because, oops, because uh, my other car blew up last weekend. So that sucked. <laughs> there was a righteous, apparently there was a crack in the engine that was leaking oil we didn't know. And yeah, we didn't have any oil in the freaking car and the engine blew up last week. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, but <laughs> anyways, so, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head on out. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, again, please be sure, not like blew up, but like the engine, Never mind. Um, not like a fireball blew up, but like the engine's dead. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, thanks so much uh, if you went ahead and donated to the uh, Kongathon 2021. That is amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Also, if you uh, can't donate, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but be sure to go over and subscribe to them on their YouTube. Follow them on Twitter um, and all that. You know, show, show them any kind of support that you can, same way that you do uh, on this channel there. So yeah, again, big thanks to everyone. Um, thanks to Palsley and crew for uh, setting up this whole thing. Uh, they've done an incredible job uh, coordinating everything, getting us these banners that you see uh, down here and stuff like that down here um so yeah really big shout out uh to that whole crew for putting that on and uh, be sure to also check out the um link that is pinned it has a link to palsley's website which has all of the other creators add them up and a few others are in here that are part of the congathon um so yeah be sure to check out when they're going live and uh, show your support over there so cool hey thanks so much everyone for uh, submitting your items as always if you would like to submit something join the discord uh there is a community showcase tab where you can go ahead and submit your items and we will show them off every single 
single I didn't know there was two rhinos in here. We'll show them off every single week at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday. And yeah, awesome. Hey, thanks so much everyone for hanging out today. This was a great, um, great stream. And uh, yeah, we will be live next week. And I have to pry uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve from S. Dan's hands. I don't know if he'll be alive or dead. I might have to kill him for it. I'll just, I'll just whack him and just, give me, give me Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve now. Whoosh. So, uh, but yeah, we'll see you next week with hopefully some Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve because I'm itching to get building again. So, cool. Hey, thanks so much, everyone. Have a good one.